Okay, got my bucket. And about this time, of, when they're about this stage, come out and we grab them before the birds get them. And then just give them a few days inside. And we've got Peach Town. Mmm, so sweet, so good. And these apples are ready to go too. They're just kind of falling off. That one's good. Turn that one to the worms. So, food forests are a reality. This this is hitting year four, and even though the veggie beds are wastelands, we'll get that in shape. But the spine of the food forest, which is the fruit trees, has produced, as has a bunch of the perennial herbs have stayed in place. So that's a huge success because I feel like no matter what we do, if we have veggie beds or fruit trees as our spine, we can leave and the perennial beds will still produce like these guys. This is Tulsi, holy basil. <laughs> Flower and leaf. The best. And so the goal now is to get more perennials going so we can just keep the beds flying if I'm here or not. But the key is to keep the mulch layer down. In, a, in an arid environment like Utah, you can't not have a mulch layer. So, Matt's wild cherry reseeded itself from last year. And that's pretty much the update and kind of what I'm working on right now in the Utah food forest. It works. Permaculture works. The last thing I'm going to show you, a little trick. Hmm. I just took the took the paper off, but I want to show you baba bean. Now you can take these beans, and they're beautiful. And as you're walking around your food forest, especially this time of year in early spring, you can just plunk those guys down in where you want them to create fertility and fix nitrogen, which is key. So, we'll just plunk one right down in there, push it down in about half, about the size of the seed, one and a half size, one and a half times the size of the seed. And we'll stick one right here, stick one right there. We'll stick one right here next to this Asian pear. We'll stick one right next to this cherry. We'll stick them right next to this buckwheat. And then today, I'm gonna come in and drop another huge layer of straw on all these beds so that there's no bare spots. And then get my drips right on top like this. So, that's kind of the update, the successes, the the not so much successes, but the learning process that I'm going through here in the Utah food forest. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for sharing the excitement of growing our own food. Stay tuned to RyeUtah.com and check out our new page on Facebook called Pure Joy Town. Um, it's a place that we're sharing the excitement of growing our own foods, fermenting our own foods, and the joy that comes from having our neurotransmitters are in our gut and in our brain just flying from being barefoot on this soil and being in the sun and working with these plants and fermenting them into more powerful medicines. So take care y'all.